in our real life we have some goods that if we sell them after a certain time period their value will increase for example if we keep rice for a certain time period and if they get a little older they will be sold at a higher price because they become um, you know more suitable for cooking in the same way there are some other things that can be sold after some time and what is that suitable time when we should sell those things is the question that we are going to answer by using in this case the example of wine which is a drink and it is uh, more valuable if it is sold after a certain time period so let us do this by using the uh, exponential functions and their derivatives if one sells wine today that is no time has passed that is t is equal to zero its price will be k dollars and other option is that he can store the wine and he can sell the wine at a price higher than k dollars and what is that higher value that is th that is represented by k so the value later is greater than the value now now how this uh, value is measured that is the higher value depends upon time and specifically speaking it is the initial value and it is an exponential growth of it over time as the t variable is showing so we are writing it in this way which is nothing different just a different way of writing exponential function instead of writing square root we have used the power of 1 over 2 now let us assume that if we sell it now the time will be 0 that is no time has passed and we put this value of 0 in this function where the variable t exists on both sides t exists so we are going to put 0 instead of time once we did it we found that the solution leads us to k so uh, these steps you can do easily I am just telling you the final answer and it is k it means that it is true to assume that the current value of the wine is k when no time has passed that is t is equal to 0 so this formula is now suitable for use we have verified that this formula is telling us about the value of wine now so it can also tell us about the value of wine for any future time period where t will be greater than zero now another assumption that we need to know is that the storage cost of wine is zero that is the wine is already you know available in containers wooden containers and there is no need to find any specific place or storage uh, halls or go downs to place it you can place it anywhere and uh, by anywhere it me I mean that in in a place uh, just in the shop or any other uh, living place so it's not going to require any extra storage cost so it's an assumption another assumption is that we are assuming that we are not producing the wine right now and it is already produced or possessed so the sunk cost is there it means that no new cost is incurred in producing the wine so sunk cost is there which means that no cost is there so it is equal to zero storage cost is also equal to zero it means that neither production nor storage costs are there so the cost that is the total cost will be equal to zero it means that if I talk about the profit formula C will be equal to zero so the profit will be equal to revenue only because cost is equal to zero so whatever revenue we earn will be equal to the profit now I cannot just use pi here or revenue because it's a matter of time in which we have to talk about now that is time is equal to zero now and what is that certain point in time in which I should sell the uh, wine in order to have its maximum value so whenever we have you know future value we calculate a 
present value for that because we are right now in the present and we want to find out the value from the current point of view that is present and that is represented by a t time is represented by t and a is showing the present value which is more meaningful which is considering all the points in time and giving us an overall idea so value of v is known which is already given as we saw in the given equations it was given and in in this i can you know substitute here the value given value of v and then the value of present value that is at will become this so we have substituted this value of v in it now we want to maximize the present value because time is there so only current value cannot matter present value will matter this is the formula and what we did is we combined these two exponents therefore their powers are added because the bases were the same so we added their powers now we want to maximize the present value that is the estimate considering the future value and what is that time period at which i should sell the wine considering that the time is certain point in time that maximizes its its value so what i did is i took this function and i took its natural log and it is with a purpose the purpose is here because we want to find out the value of time that will be uh, the cause or the point in time at which the value of wine will be maximized its present value and it is in its exponential form that we don't need we need the value of time in its actual form so we got rid of this exponent by taking natural log on both sides because you know natural log and e they get cancelled out therefore this term it fell from the superscript and it came down in the base secondly uh, the natural log was uh, you know taken with all the terms and it is as it is there is no change it is still there we have also taken the derivative so we must remember that we have taken the derivative so we have taken the natural log as well as we have taken the derivative and it derivative is with respect to t because t is that main variable so now we did the differentiation with respect to t that you can do using your knowledge of differentiation once you do this differentiation you will be able to get the first order derivative which is here i can give you some clues here because you can see that this is the uh, derivative of a natural log so here the natural log of x its derivative is being calculated so you should go back and see the formula for it here again it is the same formula because we are taking the natural log uh, derivative and for that definitely we need to find out the uh, answer by using the uh, differentiation of natural log whereas for this term we are simply going to use the power rule and for this term coefficient rule will be applied so now as i have told you about the rule set will be applied power rule so you can easily find out the answers and then this is the final uh, step in this process however we know that in order to maximize we need to come up with the first order condition that requires the first order derivative equal to 0 so this is the first order derivative that we put equal to 0 and now i can solve it and i want to solve it for a as uh, uh, i want to solve it for t because i want to know that certain point in time when the value of the wine will be maximum so simple algebra will help me here uh, you can find the value of uh, r which is not needed so you can you should find the value of t specifically and you will get it in terms of r r is the discount rate 
which if given can be substituted if it is e e for example equal to 10 percent i can put the value here and i will get the final answer and that is 25 years i i should show you how we did it 10 percent means 0 0.1 and square is there so solving this i got 25 so 25 uh, years is the suitable time to keep the wine stored so that its present value gets maximized here t is equal to 25 this is one good information to know that how uh, what or how much time is required for the maximization of the value of wine however how this value will increase over time this is another question that how the value of wine is increasing that is vt how it is what sort of growth of rate uh, rate of growth is there for it so for that we will use a formula the formula of growth rate in which we write the derivative in the exponent that is the derivative and the function itself in the denominator so this is how we can calculate the growth rate and we are going to apply this formula in place of f of x i have vt so i have the value that i need to put in denominator however the value of numerator is to be found so that's why i took the derivative and i found that v bar t is equal to this and that i substituted here and the function f of x generally speaking is here this is f bar of x as mentioned in the formula so growth rate of the value of wine over time is now being calculated there will be a little bit of cancellation that is of k as well as exponent of square root of t um, so we have this term left which we have written here and now we have the answer which we can call as r because r shows the rate of growth or growth rate you know that the process of optimization is not complete till we do the second order condition so we can also see it here this is the first order derivative i took it second uh, another derivative so it became the second order derivative and its value is equal to this it is very simple to calculate the derivative as a is a coefficient it will remain as it is in this case since we are using t as the independent variable so when we take the derivative of this term it will reduce to this and uh, you know you can solve this using the simple rules of differentiation so this is a value which we can expect to be negative because the negative sign is there a is a positive value definitely wine is sold for some amount it may be a small amount but it cannot be negative as it is the price so uh, the present value that is the value considering all the future years till the 25 years will definitely be some price that will be uh, positive so which is representing the value so a is a positive value 4 is definitely a positive value time is also positive because time starts from 0 and goes on time starts from 0 and, and goes on so it's also not negative so when we take the power that is 3 over 2 it will remain a positive value so all of these things are positive and the negative sign will finally convert it into a negative value therefore we are writing that the second order derivative of this function is equal to a, a negative value that is less than 0 so when the second order derivative is less than zero or negative it means that maximization has taken place so therefore we can say 
that the value of wine has actually been maximized. It is now confirmed with the help of sufficient condition which is the second order condition. So, this is how we can try to maximize the value of wine by knowing that certain time period at which the value of wine will be maximum. In this lecture, we also learnt about the concept of present value and we also found that first order condition and second order condition can be applied to find the maximized value of the wine as well as we also applied the rate of growth formula in order to find that how the value of wine is increasing year by year to reach a certain level where it is going to be maximum that is after 25 years. So, yearly growth is also calculated in this process. Thank you.